Всім доброго вечора. Good evening. So you are my first spectator today. Which from which which country are you from? Taiwan. Okay. USA. Okay. Very good. So can you see me and hear me well? Turkey, yes and yes, good, 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 good. So, from today, I will start to comment another inter very interesting match between Viktor Korchnoy and Boris Spassky in uh, 1977. The winner of this match, Viktor Korchnoy, played later his uh, very famous game, uh, very famous match uh, in Baguio City in 1978 against Anatoly Karpov. So, this is my choice for today. I hope uh, you will like this choice. I hope... Uh, it will be interesting for everybody. So if there are any questions, any wishes, please uh, express it. Don't worry. I will try to help understand uh, uh, to help you to understand what happened in this extremely interesting match. So for today, uh, I see that uh, score was. 7-4, uh, decisive games, 7 against 4 in favor of Viktor Korchnoy, and also 7 draws, so together it was 18 games. Okay, I cannot uh, comment all of 18 games today, but uh, uh, 3 first game, this is my idea. Okay, so in game 1, Viktor Lvovic playing with white and switch it with c4, his favorite move in this period. Hola, como estas? c4, c5, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3. Now black has choice. Boris Spassky played knight c6. Other options for black e6 is possible if black wants to play hedge hook structure. Or d5 is possible. c takes d5, knight takes d5. If e4, knight b4, very interesting line. With this line. Viktor Korchnoy won uh, his decisive game in match against Plugayevsky in Buenos Aires many years later. So against Plugayevsky, um, I will try to remember what happened. So it was Bishop C4 line. Доброго вечора. А з України хтось є? Хтось мене слухає з України?
so this was hello I'm trying to remember how it was Bulgayevsky Korchnoi no I didn't see so before yes, there is G6 so it was Pulugayevsky against Korchna. Bishop G2, Bishop. This, this. Knight takes B4 castle. With the idea Bishop G4. Later, many years later, Levon Aronian, instead of uh, Bishop B2, played uh, D4, Bishop G7, Bishop E3 with the idea Rook C1. And White has uh, quite strong center. Добре, так з України хтось мене слухає. Поки що не чути. Окей. So also black can play g6, of course, but if play g6, white can play e4. D4 and uh, this Marozzi structure is more pleasant for white. Okay, so knight c6. Uh, no. D4. Korchnoi. Another very popular line here is g3. Black can play d5. C takes d5. Knight takes d5. Bishop g2. Now knight c7 is possible with the idea to prepare e5 or g6. Favorite move of Peter Leko, Hungarian Grandmaster. Of course, after g3, black has uh, another system. For example, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, d4, takes, takes, castle, castle, queen a5. Also quite popular system. Okay, but d4, c takes d4, e6 played. Spassky. <laughs> As I already explained it, after g6, white has e4. Of course, uh, g3 is another logical move. E4, it's Marozzi system. After D6, uh, immediately Bishop E3 is not good because Knight G4 is coming. So usually White plays here F3 or Bishop E2. So okay, everybody know this position if. Uh, some spectators wants to see new. I will show bishop g7, bishop e2, castle, castle, bishop d7. This is not new, of course. Please write something in chat because uh, if uh, nobody writing, I am not sure if uh, everything is okay. And. Uh, to speak into emptiness, it's not okay. So, many good moves white uh, has here. For example, queen d2 is stan uh, quite standard. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, bishop c6, f3, a5, b3, knight b7, theoretical position. But I will show you another line. Uh, sharp line f4 probably the sharpest move in this position and important idea is that uh, white has control on e5 square and if black plays queen b6 White has knight c2, and uh, black should go somewhere with queen. Knight c2 is quite good move for white to avoid knight takes d4, bishop c6 idea. Of course, queen takes b2 is a terrible mistake because uh, knight a4. 
exchange of bishops okay it's uh, depends uh, of concrete position you mean uh, but uh, for example if uh, in this variation which i showed uh, queen d2 takes takes bishop c6 f3 a5 b3 knight d7 usually white tries not exchange bishops so in the highest level usually white is playing bishop f2 bishop e6 queen c8 after f8 what is the idea so knight g4 you want or what okay if i play primitively king h1 my idea to have bishop g1 after knight g4 so what is doing your queen on c8 bishop g4 maybe bishop g4 maybe your idea hmm. interesting question so i was never thinking about queen c8 in this position okay uh, i know this idea from a different uh, line I mean, in classical dragon, for example, this, 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 where queen c8 was played. This is uh, logical. And now black wants knight g4 or bishop g4. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 okay, so this is a game uh, Asrian Khalifman, for example. Many other games, but uh, Asrian Khalifman, good example. It was King H1, Bishop G4, Bishop G1. But uh, okay, same idea: Bishop uh, D6 or uh, Bishop D7 or Bishop E6, and then Queen C8, and Bishop G4. But there is difference now. Pawn on C2. Uh, you are asking uh, knight f5, uh, uh, queen's india. No, no, it was uh, another game. Uh, it was another game uh, uh, last in match between uh, Korch Polugayevsky Korchnoi and Korchnoi won in variation which I showed you in English opening. It was uh, another game uh, from uh, Queen's Indian, which you showed me, knight f5 and bishop c5 is mistake. Uh, Polugayevsky won and uh, equalized it. Well, I played several times Fisher random, yes, but not, not too much. Okay, so let's come back to... Uh, uh, okay, uh, I wanted to come back to Korchnoi, but uh, okay, if uh, Marozzi is interesting, we can consider as well. So, very interesting move, uh, uh, Queen C8, I'm really surprised. Okay, let's uh, go. So, F4 we are considering, so Queen C8, uh, H3. H3 might be possible, because Bishop takes H3 and... Uh, Yes, yes, uh, king, king was on e2, yes, uh, Korchnoi won this game. Yes, maybe h3, it's, uh, it's the best here, because bishop takes h3, g takes h3, queen takes h3, rook f3, it doesn't work. Black has no enough compensation for, for the piece. So, okay, maybe h3. But okay, f4, uh, as I explained, if queen b6, knight c2, and um, queen takes b2, impossible. Because after knight a4, very important that uh, uh, black king, black queen has no square e5. So after f4, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, bishop c6 the most logical move and uh, this position is uh, normal playable for both for example after natural queen d3 
Black can play a5 to prevent b4. After, for example, rook d1, knight d7, bishop g7, king takes g7, and then queen b6 is coming. Black has, has equality, so this is approximately equal position, playable for both. But uh, I want to show you interesting trap. White can try to play b4. This is bad move, but uh, black needs to know how to refute, because uh, from from positional points of view, before is good. Uh, white uh, gained in more uh, space, uh, and uh, first of all, we can check captures. But uh, if uh, bishop takes e4, white will take, will take, and I am fine, thank you. And now mm, white is uh, much better because. Uh, the two pieces uh, in this position are stronger than rook and pawn. And black cannot take uh, another pawn because after queen b6 check and queen takes b4, rook b1, and rook takes b7 is pretty unpleasant. So bishop takes e4 doesn't work. We can consider knight e4. But also, uh, Hardly good choice. Bishop takes g7 is possible. If uh, king takes, uh, white can simply take. If bishop takes queen d4, white is winning the piece. So queen b6 check, but knight f2. And, uh, queen takes b4, black has only two pawns uh, against peace, which is obviously not enough. Well, so after knight back in b6 check, now c5 is possible as well, but even more simple to play bishop d4. Knight takes c3, bishop takes b6. Hello, knight takes d1, bishop d4. Knight is trapped, e5 is only move, rook, uh, this rook taken on d1. Idea to have uh, f1 square for bishop. Black has problem with his pawn on d6. Доброго вечора. Just a moment, please. I will come back in two minutes. So, we have checked it and uh, both captures on e4 are not good for, for black. But uh, black has strong move. e5 is very strong. This is refutation of b4 line. White should take. If not, black will just take on e4. Takes. And now knight takes e4, important move. And, uh, okay, what to do for white? If, uh, if just play b5, knight takes c3 and bishop e4. And white has big problem with his pawn on e5 because uh, bishop c3 is not protected, so white cannot take on d6 or play e6. 
more natural is takes on e4. Bishop takes e4 and takes on d6. And it looks like quite good for white because if uh, queen takes d6, white is just taking taking here and rook d7 and this endgame is obviously much better for white. But can somebody see what is wrong for white in this variation? Of course, I know correct move, but uh, I, my proposition for my spectators to propose him, to propose it. What black should play now? Black, black, black to move, not white. Queen g5, bishop f3. Nothing. Black to move and wins. Okay, rook e8, uh, bishop takes g7 simply. Very concrete move. Bishop c2, bravo, bishop c2. Bishop c2 is winning move for black. Because now if uh, queen is attacked, if uh, take the bishop, black can simply take, take, and take, and uh, exchange up and win in position. After queen d2, queen takes d6, uh, queen is not protected, so white is losing exchange. And this endgame is totally winning for black. So this, is, this trap uh, is good to know. Okay, but uh, it was very, very short uh, excursion to Marozzi system. Later I can... No, no, it, it wasn't uh, in game uh, between Korchno and Spassky. I just explained some possibilities. Now we will come back to our main heroes, very respectable chess players. So g3, bishop c5. Uh, the most popular uh, line now is queen b6. Queen b6 will be in uh, game 3. But in game 1, Spassky played bishop c5. It's also possible. Knight b3, bishop b4, bishop g2. And he played d5. Okay, uh, according to modern theory, or according to my knowledge, main line is something else. Uh, I mean, uh, b6, uh, I'm not sure, just now or after castle. Okay, maybe uh, castle first, castle, and now b6. This is main theoretical line. And uh, idea... Oh, God, it was... Or bishop uh, must be on e7. Maybe bishop must be on e7. Sorry. What is with, with my memory? Oh, no, no. Uh, bishop e7, I mean. This slide. After bishop g2, castle, castle, b6. This is theoretical line. So it was a uh, provocation to play knight b3 and then to have b6 because. If white knight on d4, black cannot play b6, for example. If immediately play bishop e7, bishop g2, castle, castle, black cannot b6. So, bishop c5, knight b3, bishop e7 is main theoretical line, bishop g2, castle, castle. I, I, I don't know if there is any difference if b6 immediately also can be questioned, but uh, castle, castle, b6. And I remember this line, bishop f4, bishop a6, knight b5, 
d5, knight c7, bishop takes c4. And if knight a8, queen takes a8, black has pawn against exchange and quite a good position. If knight d2, g5. I remember something like this, maybe. Ah, no, uh, not g5 immediately, uh, rook c8 firstly. Rook c8 and after knight takes c4, now g5. After bishop takes g5, queen takes c7. This is theory and uh, black has acceptable position. But okay, so bishop b4 played uh, Spassky. I don't know if it's possible to realize same idea with bishop on b4. What is difference? Um, it can be difference. It has idea bishop g5, for example. Maybe bishop g5 is stronger now than with bishop on e7. Bishop a6, knight b5. But okay, Spassky played d5. Korchnoi took on d5. I don't know if this is the best or not. I'm not sure. Also possible to consider castle. d takes c4. This. This. What is this? Knight d2, for example. White wants to take on c4. If black is trying to defend, knight e4 is coming and then bishop f4. So it can be quite strong initiative for white. d4 here. d4, bishop takes c6. White is winning the pawn. I'm not sure is it. Black has enough compensation. It's possible to take with knight, possible to take this uh, queen also. Yeah, it has pawn up. So maybe castle was stronger than. Uh, at least it looks like very, very interesting alternative in this position. But uh, Viktor Lvovich took on d5, and knight takes d5. It looks and now, of course, uh, castle looks like standard pawn sacrifice. Uh, after knight takes c3, b takes c3, queen takes d1, rook takes d1, bishop c3, rook b1, white has for sure excellent compensation. But of course, they played a3. Not so spectacular move, in my opinion. So castle was more principal. Okay, now if knight takes c3, he has queen takes d8 and a takes b4. So Spassky took. Another possible move was bishop d2, but it's less active. Black can just take and play this. I don't know if there are good winning chances, but uh, some pressure. So knight c5 is coming. Maybe there are some uh, uh, some games in this position, I'm almost sure. But okay, so a3 somehow strange choice. Takes, takes, castle, queen c2. So now black has more or less comfortable development. And necessary to find good plan. E5 uh, usually good, but probably not exactly in this position because now White has threat uh, Rook D1. Okay, I like to consider different. And now, if bishop e6, rook d1 is unpleasant. Also, knight c5 is possible. So, e5, um, if play, now knight b6, probably. Idea to prepare bishop e6 somehow to prepare queen c7. But okay. So, 
Boris Spassky played Queen C7, totally logical move. He is fighting for C4 square. He wants to play knight E5. If, for example, uh, castle, black has knight E5, and I'm not sure that black wants to take on C3, but. Uh, But it's quite comfortable game for black, probably. If rook d1, probably even rook e8 is possible, because take on d5 is too risky. All right. Okay, c4 played Viktor Korshnoi, knight e5, very natural reaction. So knight d2. Again. Black should play something. Spassky played b5. Not so obvious choice, at least for me. Duoshi Diakwe, a Vizvitk. Viz Ukraine. Knight b6 uh, is possible, but uh, I like bishop d7. Why not? To prepare rook a c8. Because knight b6 uh, I don't like. After knight b6, uh, bishop b2 and uh, black cannot take on c4. Because if take with this knight, rook c1 is coming. If take with another knight, also rook c1. And... Okay, but now queen a5 also. So... Ah, but maybe f4 is winning. f4 is winning. Yes, now white winning the piece. Bishop e5, queen takes e5, sorry. And rook is attacked. So. Okay, maybe just castle it's, <laughs> it's winning move. Because uh, black has too many hanging pieces. So queen b6 looks like only move which is not losing immediately. But... Uh, Takes, takes, and bishop takes g7. Bad for black. Oh, but uh, knight b6. Very natural bishop d7 uh, to prepare rook c8. This. For example, if queen b3, rook c8 is coming. And c takes d5, queen takes c1 is better for black. But okay, after bishop d7, probably uh, Korshtoy planned to play bishop b2. After rook c8, rook c1, something like this. Maybe this was the best for white. So Spassky played b5, another logical move. He immediately attacking c4 pawn and he is preparing bishop b7. c5, bishop b7, castle, rook a c8. Not obvious choice uh, which rook uh, is better to put on c8. Maybe rook fc8 was possible as well, but okay, Spassky played rook a c8. Not, not so obvious choice. Knight b3. More active looks knight e4, but. But knight d6 is not threat at the moment because uh, queen takes d6 is coming, so black can consider even f5. 
If my g5 queen e7 seems nice, like I did. Okay, maybe f5 is not only move for tiles, but important that uh, now queen b2 also black has problem with knight and uh, okay, knight c4 and rook takes c5. What's this? Complicated position. Oh, okay. So, knight b3 played Korchnoi. So position looks like very nice for black. Plus c5 bonds. Weak black has c4 square. Yes, well, Spassky played a5, natural move. Bishop d2, Korchnoi. So if a4, knight d4 is gone, so knight c4, natural, e4, knight e7. A4. White, white is trying to create contraplay. Knight c6 black. Now a5 pawn is attacked. Bishop takes d5 and bishop f4. In which moment bishop takes d5 and bishop f4? Here bishop takes d5. Looks like too optimistic. Ah, after knight b3, a5, bishop takes d5 and bishop f4. But what is so good for for white? I don't understand. Okay. Black can even take on b3 and take on c5, and white is fighting for draw, but probably black can also try something more aggressive. f6, for example, is possible to prepare g5. No, I don't think that bishop d5 is so, so good idea. Okay, so bishop d2 is quite natural choice. Knight c4, e4, knight e7, a4 takes this, rook c1. So now a5 pawn is attacked. If a4 white has knight d4, so knight c6 played Boris Spassky, bishop c3, rook fd8, bishop f4. A4 takes, takes, rook takes A4. So at the moment white is pawn up, but for sure black has excellent compensation. Rook G3. Bishop B2 instead of Bishop D2. This question. It's possible, but what will you do after knight c4? Looks like good position for black. But anyway, I'm not sure that probably this rook was even more precise. Because after knight b3, a5, it's more or less obvious that rook on a8 is more useful for black than rook on f8. But probably Spassky afraid something with knight e4. I don't know. Hmm, but anyway, f5, knight g5, knight d6 not possible. I already explained it, that queen takes d6 simply. So knight g5, queen e7. Queen b2, rook takes c5. Uh, sorry, uh, knight c4 firstly. Queen takes b5, rook takes c5. And 
like a very active position. Uh, uh, bishop b4, knight c4, e4 is interesting. Okay, maybe this is interesting, but what, what is this? If I just play knight e7, what is your idea? Well, so let's come back to the game. Bishop a6. Of course, black has uh, some other possibilities. But what? If for rook fd8, bishop f4 is unpleasant somehow. If e5, a takes b5. If uh, knight takes d2, queen takes d2, pawn a5 is handling. And... If b4, probably queen d6. Black has some problem with a5 pawn. So bishop a6, rook fc1, knight c6, pawn is passing, bishop c3. So more or less uh, standard uh, pawn sacrifice. I mean standard for modern chess. White is pawn up, but uh, there are some weak squares, uh, some problem with uh, king. So. Compensation looks like more or less enough. Black has big choice. Many moves are possible. For example, simply bishop d3 is possible after queen b2. f6 or e5 is possible. But okay. So what about bishop a5? Uh, there is question, but in which moment bishop a5? Instead of rook a3, bishop a5. Mm -hmm. Interesting, but uh, not so convincing because queen goes somewhere, for example here. You cannot take my rook because your rook is hanging and bishop on a5 hardly in good position. So I think Korshnoi played better. Rook d3. Now black has some kind of domination. Important that after knight d2, knight d4 is discarded with many threats. It's necessary to check probably this, this queen b2, however. Three. Bishop takes g7, something like this. Rook takes d2, queen takes d2, it is check. And probably white can survive here, but maybe black can play for a win. Or, okay, I'm not sure if black is playing for win now, because three pawns, queen g8 is threat. Well, but uh, if black agree to draw, king g8 is possible. So 92 maybe not so stupid. If uh, it works, but of course. Of course, knight d4 is not only move, but white has threat queen b2 somehow, and white wants to improve his knight. So knight d4 is possible. So more or less drawish line. Ah, sorry, sorry. What, what I'm uh, doing? Queen B2 check, and uh, White is winning. Sorry, I am grandmaster, but I also making some 
uh, I also making primitive mistakes sometimes. So this idea doesn't work at all. So knight d2 was possible. So probably knight d4 is already a bad move. Oh. Okay, uh, not so clear because uh, after queen b2, queen a5 also necessary to consider with idea rook a2. White cannot take on g7 immediately because rook a2 is coming. So this is, doesn't work. Also, why does it work? It works. Queen f6 is possible. And after queen takes d2, bishop h. Ah, queen b2. But, what is that? Queen b2. Queen b2. Wow. And rook c3 is impossible because queen a1 check and queen f1. Rook c3, queen a1 check. This is problem. Okay, but uh, it's so interesting position. Maybe white has something else. Ah, after Q, uh, queen b2, e5 simple. Ah, e5 simple. Yes, sure, so simple. Yes, so it works. White is winning here. So, bishop takes g7, works. Queen takes f2, okay, uh, black has chances for draw, but uh, white is pawned up, so it's... Black is suffering, at least. Okay, maybe queen d8 now is possible, but knight f... Ah. Knight of three. Now it's important that after this, this rook, ah, rook a1, uh, not possible. So, so queen a5, bishop g7, rook a2, queen f6, and after queen takes d2, bishop h6. Okay, queen takes f2. Okay, black has some chances for draw, but it's difficult endgame. Well, so, okay, but probably after knight d2, black uh, can just play something. But what? Because queen b2 is uh, threatsome. Probably rook b8. It's logical idea to protect the bishop. Or even f6 is possible to avoid uh, tricks with uh, g7 square. But after f6, rook b3 is coming. And black has problem with his bishop somehow. So not f6. So what was after knight d2? Rook b8. But after rook b8, anyway, uh, rook b3 it's good provides. So. So probably rook d3 was just dubious move for black. So bishop d3, more, much more natural. White should play queen b2. And now f6 or e5. Okay, f6. And black has uh, sufficient compensation for the pawn. So e4 pawn is attacked. After knight d2, black can play something like queen e7. Or even queen f7 with idea queen h5. So this is compensation, but after rook d3, Korshloi played very strange move, rook a, a, a1. So it's counter-intuitive move. So uh, I'm really curious why he didn't play knight d2. What he could afraid? Hard to believe that uh, he didn't consider such a natural move. Maybe queen d7 somehow. 
and if queen b2 rook b8 instead of knight d2 why not queen b2 queen b2 is possible but what is special in this move f6 for example also probably black has some ideas with queen take queen d7 and rook d1 check maybe okay but uh, so maybe after knight d2 the best for black is just play queen d7 to avoid rook b3 now rook b3 doesn't work because bishop a4 mm, but uh, aha, and now if rook b1 probably probably what knight d4 probably is coming after bishop takes d4 rook takes a3 this is not the same position like in previous variation okay but after queen d7 ah now knight d4 is also threat Okay, but white can play this with idea to exchange rooks. Yes, probably queen d7 is the best, but okay, so rook a a1 played Korchnoi. Strange move for me. It uh, looks like uh, black has serious pressure. So what played Spassky? h5. Knight d2. Aha, uh -huh, only now he played knight d2. Interesting. Okay, uh, I have a question if h5 is the best. It's logical move for sure, but uh, is it the best? Not so obvious. For example, uh, this move is very logical. To improve control on D line, and, and now after knight D2, even the rook takes D2 and knight D4 can be considered. I don't know if it uh, really works, but uh, for sure this is interesting. What could be two? Well, uh, what else? So black has many interesting moves. Yeah, H5 he played, knight d2, knight d4 he played. What is this? Okay. By hand, black should play h4 for sure. But this is by hand. It, it wasn't blitz. Okay, so why Spassky didn't play h4? I need to try to understand because very logical move. h takes g3 is threat. Uh, after rook cd8, uh, knight a5 is possible. Knight a5 uh, is possible, but the question if this is really strong. Maybe it's strong. I'm thinking what to do. Yes, rook one. Yes, probably this is strong. Uh, 
also after h5 probably knight knight e5 maybe is possible but uh, okay but what about the next stakes and c6 for example for okay so So back. It should play right. Rook A and what? Not should do probably. Okay, we can try. We can try. That after rook d is d2 and knight d4, a5. So probably queen f4, rook takes, queen g4 check, king f1 somehow, and now. Check and then uh, rook takes c3. So, how to play? So, h4, rook cb1, okay, uh, probably not rook cb1, probably rook ab1 is stronger. Uh, with idea to have bishop defended, maybe this is a real problem. So, if compare. Uh, uh, bishop c3 will be defended, so it can be important. But anyway, uh, what is this? Queen f4 is coming. Not so easy to understand what white should do. Hello. I don't know how to evaluate. Maybe it's not possible to evaluate. It's necessary to calculate this position because... Okay, evaluate. Uh, black has uh, s uh, some threats. Ah, uh, ah, king h1. Yes, yes, maybe king h1 is strong. Instead, yes, maybe this. Also, it was possible with another rook. Aha, to avoid queen h3 check. So this, this, so this, 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 uh, how it was uh, rook f1 now. Ah, so it's the same. Uh, queen f4, uh -huh. uh, so my mistake was, uh, okay, king h1, but is it uh, all? If rook e3, rook uh, bb1, and prepare rook, uh, yes, maybe this is correct. 
and maybe because of this Boris Spassky didn't play this line. Yes, King H1 is important. Queen G5 instead of Queen G4. So, but after Queen G5, White can go here already. Because uh, there is no check from uh, H3. Rook takes C3, Queen takes C3 simply. Okay, so Rook F1, just a moment. So rook takes d2 doesn't work. Maybe something like this. However. Ah, uh, queen takes d3, sorry. Okay, maybe not enough compensation. Uh, queen g5 and queen e3, okay. Queen e3, but... Uh, uh -huh. Okay, if I just play rook b3. Alright, consolidated position somehow. Ah, even the... Uh, uh, rook f3, no. Yes. But queen h3 check is still some tricks. Okay, it's uh, interesting. Queen g5. Yes, maybe queen g5. But if king goes here, if queen e3, rook g2. Ah, uh, bishop is hanging, sorry. Mm. Yes, so uh, king uh, f1, queen e3. Rook b3, queen c5. Okay, but white is piece up. B2, for example. Oh, even a knight of Rook b2, somehow. Okay, but still very unclear position. Well, Spassky didn't play this. Okay, it's uh, dangerous for both. White is under attack, black is pissed down. So. And there is no possibility, or uh, uh, maybe there is, but uh, extremely difficult to calculate till the end. So it's just unclear. Engine. Okay, I'm not give Ah. not for me. Okay, Spassky played knight d4. Rook takes d4. So white is pawn up, but still some compensation for black. If knight f3, rook c4, it's possible. Although it's not totally obvious. So knight f3 probably not so stupid move in this position, because if rook c4, white can just take and take and here white has winning chances because c5 pawn is very strong so rook a c1 is coming c6 something like this so what black can do else bishop d3 queen c3 it's very good for white rook d3 probably Ah, uh, you can come back to line queen e3, rook b3, and uh, so queen takes c5, and o queen h3 check, clear position. Queen, okay, I don't know what is this. e5, something like this. Now knight d4. Okay, if I just take uh, 
only one pawn against peace, no, but, but we are knight d4. Okay, let's come back. So knight f3 was interesting. And now rook c4 is tempting, but not so good. Probably rook d3, but after rook d3, white can attack immediately bishop, rook a b1, or rook c b1. So knight f3 was quite interesting move, by the way. It was much better than uh, Korchley played, because he gave pawn. Okay, very likely it was time trouble, because move uh, 30... Move 30, 31. It could be time trouble. I don't know who was in trouble, Spassky or Korchnoi, or both of them, but uh, it's possible. So Korchnoi played this, and after obvious rook d8, he gave pawn. So queen c3 is a mistake. So knight f3 was much stronger. And now it looks like uh, uh, white is clearly better because rook c4 is acceptable and if not play rook c4, white, white has pawn up. Okay, black can go back with rook to prepare bishop d3 somehow, but uh, well, white can just play rook a3 and uh, enjoy with extra pawn. To prevent bishop d3 and prepare rook c3 and c6. So, Viktor Lvovich played a mistake here. Probably he was in time trouble. So, knight f3, it is not a very difficult solution for such a strong player. Chess base software. So, okay, uh, very strange. Uh, so, position was uh, very promising for black, but uh, Korshnoi, but uh, Korshnoi outplayed Spassky. <laughs> so, where was uh, mistakes? Uh, it's uh, not so obvious. Spassky played low. Okay, maybe rook, another rook to c8 was possible, but... Okay, hard to believe that black can be woes here. For example, it's possible... Okay, uh, after rook fc1... Feelings that black should be good, but how to play? Okay, if uh, I'm just playing like, primitively, takes, takes an a4. I, I take c6 take, and if I five, I will take, and I am not losing this because uh, a1 is uh, a4 here for black. Here, a4. That's a good question. Yes, very natural. So why Spassky didn't play this? Probably he wasn't sure about knight a5. Knight takes a5, bishop takes a5, I mean queen takes a5, e takes d5, and then rook d1, something like this. Maybe it is drawish somehow. Mm, but at least... Uh, 
Blue Black has extra pawns. So. Okay, it's uh, very likely this is draw, but uh, it's not risky for Black. Rook at d8. Yes, so a4 was possible. Yeah, I agree. I think knight a5 was idea of Korchnoi, but it's enough only for draw. A4, but okay, also. Ah, uh, instead of knight. Ah, uh, also here, knight d4, bishop d7. What is wrong in this position? Maybe this is also acceptable for black. I mean, uh, enough for equal equality. c6 and rook takes a4 is possible if white wants to equalize. But uh... Okay, but bishop a6 doesn't look like, like mistake, but after rook fc1... Ah, ah, okay, so knight c6. Probably knight c6 was not the best. Okay, we'll see. Is it true or not? But why not a4 now? Who knows? Maybe just bishop f1 was planned. But if bishop f1, this is possible, and bishop f1, and white will have extra pawn. Okay, but. Uh, Bad pawn structure, but quite active pieces. Well, maybe bishop f1 is possible. Yeah, is Ukraine. Доброго вечора. Bishop F1. Ah, now Rook D3. Maybe dubious move. Maybe Bishop D3 was better. Okay, but it's very far from obvious, of course. So now Queen C3 was a mistake. Is everything okay with voice and video? Please confirm. Good. So Queen C3 weak move and now White lost his extra pawn. So takes, takes, rook a4, takes, takes, rook c5. Okay, what is this? Queen a5. So number of pawn is equal, but white has c pawn. Is it really dangerous? Difficult to believe. Okay, uh, so rook a4 played Spassky. Uh, why not play um, example, rook b4? And if c6, my idea to play rook c6, c8.
If, for example, c7, I will play king f8 and king e7 is coming. Immediately rook c8 was possible as well, but I was afraid knight b7. And knight d6 is coming. Nineteen seventy-seven. Yes, but uh, this is possible. If ninety-six, I will take on c five. Okay, white is better, probably. But this draw rook c1, rook c2. Okay, so rook a4 played Spassky, takes, takes c6, c7, rook c5, bishop d7. What is this? King g2 played. If knight b6, king, uh, king d6 is prepared. So, white cannot win easily. So, king g2, rook h8, knight b6. Of course, white can play some quiet move, like h4, with some winning chances. Of course, I play this, king d6. Promote queen. If rook uh, goes uh, bishop c6, is possible same position. Same position. White king is again. King c7. This is again. Knight e7. And h4. Very tricky. So probably uh, Korchloy hope that Spassky will play king e8, king h3, king f8, knight f6, and king h4. Now white has winning chances in this, in this pawn endgame. I don't know if this is winning, but... Uh, some winning chances, but Spassky played very tricky move h4. And now is draw. So, very interesting battle ended with draw. Yes. No, вже нікого з України немає. Чомусь в чаті ніхто з України не пише. I am asking if there are somebody from Ukraine. Looks like nobody. Okay, so it was game one. Now, before game two, I want to eat something, so it will be a 15 minutes break.
Hello. I'm here again. Possible to hear me and see me? Is it everything fine? Good, just a moment, I will take something. Good, so we can continue. So game two, Spassky white, Korshtoy black. E4, French defense, D4, the most popular move, although Chigorin played queen e2 here. Another possible line. Well, d4, d5. Knight c3, bishop b4. Another very popular line here is knight f6, and white has choice between e5, knight d7, f4, or bishop g5. Bishop b4, e5, c5, a3 takes, takes, queen g4. Okay, the sharpest line in this position, queen g4, but uh, also possible to play another moves like h4, for example, like knight f3, like a4. So white has choice. Queen g4, c takes d4. Another option in this position, uh, king f8, castle. If castle, bishop d3, it's knight c3. Knight e8, knight c6, queen h5. Immediately <coughs> organize attack. If c4, bishop h6. This is a very important trick. Here, and bishop e3, and white is clearly better because h4, h5 is coming. What I am thinking about win aware variation? Okay, well, playable, interesting, tricky. c takes d4, queen c7 uh, is possible as well, and white has choice. This is position from the game. Uh, bishop d3 also possible with idea if c takes d4 to play knight e2. Okay, so c takes d4, queen takes g7 took Spassky, c takes d4 is possible, but queen c7, black has control play. Now white has choice. Several moves are possible. Rook a2, king b1. Rook a2 probably is the best here. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Theoretical position. Instead of the most popular knight e2, other options for white are uh, king d1 or rook b1. Knight e2, the most popular, knight c6. If, of course, if c takes d4, knight takes d4, and if knight takes d4, queen c3, it's not acceptable for white. So f4, bishop d7, queen d3, d takes c3, and now bishop e3. It's very rare move in this position, probably not the best move at all. White has many moves, so queen takes c3 was favorite move of Anatoly Karpu. Also possible knight takes c3 and after a6 rook b1 many games was played. Idea to prevent long castle, now long castle is very bad because queen takes a6. 
so after rook d1, black should play knight f5 or rook c8 as possible as well. Okay, but bishop e3 played Boris Spassky. Not so natural choice because uh, now black can play knight f5, for example. But uh, Korshnoi played d4 immediately. It's very modern chess. Uh, I can compare that here there is line d takes c3 and if queen takes d3, d4. If knight takes d4, takes, takes, and bishop d7, a lot of theory. Black has serious compensation. If knight g3, it was game uh, Lambit all against Vyacheslav Eingorn, bishop d7, knight e4, castle. And after rook b1, Knight takes e5, f takes e5, queen takes e5. Black has excellent compensation for the piece. Also, this game Lambit all won with white. So, after d4, Spassky played bishop f Two. Push a three pawn in such position always knight before. It's usually not recon. Bishop f2. He doesn't want to take the pawn. Not so obvious why. So much more natural looks just take pawn. So knight b5 is unpleasant threat. So knight takes d4 is more or less forced. Of course, black can consider. Something like a6, so but all this bishop takes d4. What is wrong here? I don't know. So white has extra pawn, and white is ready to take another pawn. Of course, black has uh, very active pieces, but what con concrete uh, black can do? Not so easy to understand, frankly speaking. Well, for example, bishop c6 is possible, rook g1 is possible. 9f5 maybe. Because uh, if, uh, if castle, queen takes c3. And now knight f5 is unpleasant threat, so queen takes c3. If knight d5, queen d2, everything is protected. Now white is attacking a7 pawn as well, so already two pawns up. Okay, so good for white. At least it looks like. So I'm trying to understand why Spassky didn't take the pawn and play bishop f2, which is uh, hardly natural. So. So, uh, what else I can add that d4 wasn't forced, totally possible, with rook c8, for example, knight f5, for example. But Korshtoy played d4, uh, the most uh, principal way. But why Spassky didn't take so this? Okay, uh, I... <laughs> I don't think that uh, something like a6 was uh, move 11 h4 uh, here h4 move 11 h4 this here h4 I mean. If black takes on e5 with queen, bishop f4, understand, but uh, if just take here, what is your idea? No, black is ready to take on e5.
maybe Spassky didn't want to open this position, okay, maybe, but uh, h5, you want. okay, if I take. h6, okay, but uh, I can play rook h8. Also, queen takes g8 doesn't threat immediately because, for example, if you take and play h7, I have queen h8, so it's not direct threat. Okay, maybe bishop g5, some threats. Okay, okay but uh, so queen d3? But okay, your pawn is stopped. I can play d4. Is this or maybe bishop f4 here? Okay, queen f6, it's a e5 is coming. Well, okay, there is a lot of theory. Also, here h4 is possible to prepare rook h3. Okay, but queen d3 is main move, so knight takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4. Okay, I think knight takes d4, okay. Hard to believe that uh, Korshtoy planned to play something like a6. It's possible, but... Um, okay, so knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, but what is concrete problem? I think Spassky have seen some concrete problem problem, but um, I don't see um, something uh, what can be really unpleasant for white. Okay, probably there is something, but uh, nothing obvious. Okay, probably something like this, knight f5. And if queen takes c3, bishop c6. It's, it can be, but okay, rook g1. If queen d8, I have bishop f2, not allow. Queen h4, I mean, not allow. So it's a question what, what they calculated. Okay, black can just play rook c8, um, but but after rook c8, rook g1, and so strange choice uh, of Boris Spassky, by the way. Maybe he have seen something concrete in this position, but I don't see. Because uh, bishop f2 looks uh, like sad somehow, white is losing tempi and uh, not taking the pawn, but now white is extra pawn, ready to take another one. And so, big question for me. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, I don't see reasonable explanation. Okay, black has some ideas, probably knight d5 after g3, maybe queen a5, something like this, with idea knight b4, probably. Or bishop c6, firstly. After rook g1, now queen a5 maybe, but okay. It's very far from convincing. Queen c4 is coming, it's probably queen c5. So I don't see uh, easy refutation or 
or refutation at all. Okay, maybe I will take encyclopedia, maybe they explain something. Just a moment, please. So, C18 or what? Something like this. Yes. I am in Winover variation. Yes, C18. Queen G4. Okay, white should uh, try to consolidate position firstly. Rook G1, G3, the most usual moves, uh, but I'm curious if uh, they uh, consider something. Ah, bishop e3, yes, they are considered. After bishop e3, interesting that encyclopedia gives uh, like long castle main line. And only after g3 to play d4. Okay, this is logical because now, and now white is playing bishop f2. That's given encyclopedia. Now uh, it's easy to see that bishop c6 is coming, and after rook g1, knight f5, white is losing the piece. But uh, if immediately, black cannot realize this idea because uh, uh, I'm ready to take uh, on c3 immediately. So encyclopedia gives variation castle, g3, d4. Bishop f2 now. Okay, now I understand why bishop f2 because uh, knight takes d4 losing material. So after bishop f2, interesting that uh, choice on encyclopedia knight g6. Bishop g2, knight e5. Takes, takes. Queen d1, bishop c6. Knight f4. Takes, takes. Queen c6. Castle, knight f3, check, king h1, and according to encyclopedia, this position is equal. Knight h4. Rook g1, knight f3. Rook F1. Perpetuum mobile. Funny variation. Yes. I agree that black looks like winning. For example, rook H8 is possible and rook G8. Totally agree. Okay, so Long Castle I understand, but uh, probably after Long Castle, White can take uh, here. This is more likely. Probably Encyclopedia consider this. No, only G3 they consider. Okay, Queen takes C3, it's uh, much more logical. Idea if, uh, for example, this, this, uh, d4, queen, c5. Idea to provoke b6, because in this line, black uh, already uh, has never idea queen, a5, check. So I can do something, g3, probably. So after castle, I think queen takes c3 is the best move. But okay, of course, I play d4. What is suggestions? Uh, 
133. This is a user. Also from Belgrade. Yes, D4, knight takes D4, they are considering. Okay, so knight takes D4, of course. But what now? Ah, knight takes D4, uh, bishop takes D4, ah, I mean here. So, here after bishop e3, d4, encyclopedia suggests just take, and after this, this, knight d5, g3, according to encyclopedia, white is slightly better. Totally possible, but uh, very difficult to understand why Spassky didn't play this. Well, I mean, a long castle, normal move, and, and now rook g1. Immediately bishop g2 is bad because knight takes a 4 so rook g1. Now white is prepared to play bishop g2. Okay, it's a complicated position, but uh, looks like playable for white. So queen c4 is coming. Bishop c6, for example, queen c4. Something like this. And still not so obvious what black should play here. Okay, so many questions. But Spassky didn't take, and Korshtoy just castle, and Spassky took now, but he lost important tempi. Just b6, and now he has queen on d4 instead of bishop, and black is ready for bishop c6 or bishop uh, b5 as well. Knight takes d4, queen takes d4. Ah, you mean uh, here bishop c6 you play? You want to play and rook d2? Okay, maybe. Totally possible. Okay, queen takes a7, very logical, and rook d2. It's very likely that black is not worse here. Maybe black is even better. Okay, what should I play with white? So there. I don't know. Not easy. Okay, maybe just rook g1. If rook takes c2, just g3, simply this, but maybe this is bad for, for white, I don't know, but 
I'm trying to make moves. Yes, okay, but uh, so bishop c6 was really interesting, I agree. But of course, they played b6, flexible move, he defended the pawn, and now he is ready to play bishop c6 or bishop b5. Bishop h4 played Spassky. If rook g1, I think bishop b5 was prepared. Like has compensation because white rooks are not coordinated. So Spassky played bishop h4. Bishop b5. Bishop f1. Aha. G3, bishop f3 here. Aha. This is idea. Yes. It looks like promising for. Ah. Mm -hmm. Queen a8, just queen b8. King d7, queen a4 check. But queen b8 is possible and bishop f3. It's interesting. And white is in danger somehow. Okay. Maybe. Maybe bishop c6 was stronger, but b6 he played. Bishop f1, rook takes f1, rook d5. Still white has extra pawn, but well, now knight f5 is coming, so, so white should do something. So he took rook f3. King b8 simply played Viktor Livovich. Also very tempting, looks uh, just check. White. He didn't play this. It's not easy to understand. Looks like very good for black. Black is just taking on h2. And White has big problem with his king. Okay, but probably this was uh, idea rook takes c3 and queen e2 no because this rook takes g3 and black wins so why he didn't play queen h4 check difficult to understand frankly speaking Maybe king f1. Mm -hmm. Ah, and now queen takes h2, rook h3. This is idea. So this was the reason. So he played king b8, flexible move. So queen h4 still thread somewhere. And also rook d2 is possible. Because white has no check from a8 anymore. If rook takes c3, now queen h4 check. If king f1, uh, queen takes h2, rook h3, but uh, rook d2 is very strong. So he played strong. King b8. King f1. 
G3 was possible, but anyway, rook D2 probably. Okay, what about G3? G3 looks like natural move, but yes. Rook D2 probably, Rook takes C3. Now, if take on H2, White can long castle. It's an excellent position, certainly. Let's not forget that King can go. Ah. Yes. Yes, King can go. King uh, didn't move yet. So, G3... Queen c5, queen e3, I can try to defend. Okay. Dangerous situation for white, of course. Queen c5, queen e3, rook d4, even possible. Spassky played king f1, rook d2, rook f2, rook d8. Another rook is ready to come to d2. King g3, queen d8. Queen G8 is threat. Rook D8. Korshnoi plays for win, of course. Cannot agree for draw. G3, Queen H6 check. King G2, Rook D2, so G4, Rook H8, Queen H6. Move 19. Rook takes F1, he took, so what is your proposition? Queen A8 check? Ah, yes, you are right. Castle. Yes. Knight d5. Or, or rook d1, I don't know. Okay, rook d1. So, if knight d5, rook takes d5. So, you are, you are right. E takes d5, queen takes d5. Yes, probably this is perpetual. Yes. Probably Spassky in, in, in that moment still played for win. I don't know. Maybe, but I'm not sure. Or just missed this idea. Yes, you are totally right. It was correct plan. Queen A8 was strong enough for draw. Yes, but okay, so Spassky missing this. Now oh, he is under very unpleasant attack. Rook d2 is coming. Queen g3, queen e7. So permanent problem with king. So impressive victory by Viktor Lvovich. In game two. Okay, and last game for today. Game three. So in game three. Queen B6 played Spassky. 
Is it everything okay with uh, my video? So knight b3, a lot of theory, knight b3 is not only move. Все добре, от приємно, що є хтось з України, ви звідки? Knight b3. Also knight b5. З ОТС, дуже приємно. Так. So I will show one of theoretical lie. A6. Queen a4. Rook b8. Bishop e3. Now if take uh, white has this, it's a good position. So bishop c5. Bishop takes. Queen takes c5. Queen a3. b6. Queen takes c5. Knight d6. Knight takes. b3 g5 approximately equal end Dobre, продовжимо. We will continue. So, knight b3, knight e5, e4, bishop b4, queen e2. But uh, castle according to modern theory it's, it's not a good idea. So, d6 is correct. Here not allow f4 e5. If f4 knight c6 but okay, it's modern theory, but they played Ola, but they played in 1977. Castle. Also, in uh, the game against Slyosh Portish, Korshnoi played Castle. He made draw, but uh, he had very bad position. And uh, Fischer was very angry to Portish that he agreed to move repetition. So, F4. Knight c6, bishop e3. According to my memory, e5 is better. And after knight e8, bishop e3 or bishop d2. Well, bishop e3 played portish against Scorchman. Or bishop d2, I don't remember, but I remember that it was very bad position for Korchnoi. Now, different that uh, after e5, black has knight e4. So, bishop g2. Again, black can play uh, d6. It's normal line but usually there is position in this move order f4 knight c6 uh, bishop g2 castle bishop e3 bishop takes c3 b takes c3 queen c7 many games was played yes spassky didn't play d6 okay spassky started with castle and korchnoi played Bishop G ah, he didn't play d6 at all because now he played uh, d5. Also, normal theoretical line to take on c3 and play d6. Or, or, or if black started to d6, they are taken and playing castle. Because if d6 immediately, white has bishop d2 with comfortable position. So... So better to take uh, first and now play d6, d6. So I remember something like this, c5, uh, d5, e5, knight d7, c4, d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, knight takes c5, queen e3, knight a4, Castle, bishop d7, something like this. And then bishop c6, uh, theory. 
complicated variation. But Spassky played d5, e5, bishop c6. So white has uh, two bishops advantage and pleasant position. c4 is a threat. B6 played, rook a c1, f5. Okay, black uh, need to do something, but position is really unpleasant because uh, their knights are hanging and uh, white has excellent square d4 for his knight. Knight d4, rook e8. Maybe immediately knight a5 was possible as well. It's not so easy to understand what is more precise. Also, провалив я свій турнір, на жаль. Зле я зіграв, ну, але спробую наступного разу зіграти ліпше. I explained that uh, I played in Bundesliga, but I played bad. Okay. Next time I will try to play better. My next tournament will be uh, Team uh, World Championship in is Israel, in Jerusalem. Uh, it starts uh, 19 of... Uh, okay, uh, day of arrival, 19 of November. Вже я кажу, що буду грати. Ой, дуже дякую. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I know that Hikaru won my congratulations, but I didn't follow it carefully. So if C4 now, Bishop A6, I think. Not so clear. So knight d4. Okay, maybe immediately knight a5 was more precise somehow, but I'm not sure what can be difference. Okay, we will check. So queen d3. Now he played knight a5, and after knight b5, he played the queen c6. But why not queen c4? Queen c4 looks like... Uh, ah, now white can take and play bishop d4. And uh, this is a real problem because knight c7 is a threat. Also bishop takes f6, of course. Uh, but uh, if knight a5 immediately, so what difference? Again bishop d4. Uh -huh, and again... Black uh, has no time to defend because bishop takes f6 is threat and another threat is knight c7 if knight e4. So black is in uh, real trouble already. So d5 was uh, probably just bad idea. Looks like this. Okay, we'll check. So uh, bishop takes c3 and d6 is uh, the, uh, theoretical line. Also after c5, I remember d takes c5, there is idea, something like this, knight a5, there is some theory. If I am not mixed anything. Well. So d5 probably not the best. Ah, uh, not here. D5. So he uh, he played d5 here, e5, knight e4, castle, bishop c3, c takes. Uh, yes. So bishop takes b2 doesn't work because d takes c6 and bishop takes. 
bishop is trapped. If bishop c3, rook c1 is coming. White is winning. C, D, E, D, B takes C3, rook A, C1, White is preparing uh, C4, but now knight D4, he changed plan, queen D3, queen C6 played, bishop D4. Bishop takes F6 is threat, so knight E4, bishop E5, bishop A6, A4. What is this? Knight c4 played Boris Spassky. I don't know if it's correct move or not. By the way, rook a d8 looks like natural, but uh, after rook a d8 immediately c4 is coming probably. I, I'm not sure is this is strong. Rook e1, okay, rook e1, it's not special threat, because if white will take on a4, e4, black will have some compensation, because light squares will weak. So c4 is questioned, but after c4, queen c5 is coming. And, uh, it doesn't look like so bad for black. I mean, here, if c4, queen c5. Oh, this is bad, who knows? So bishop d4. If d takes c4, white has queen takes e4. However, only question. Aha, this is finish. Because if queen goes somewhere, white has bishop e5. For example, queen f8, bishop uh, e5. White is winning, so c4 probably this is problem. White immediately attacks uh, black knight, and uh, not so clear how black can defend. If knight takes c4, just rook takes c4, and uh, uh -huh, so c4 is real threat. Not because of this, Spassky played knight c4 to block this idea, but queen d4. G7 is attacked. Also important that if rook e7, knight c7 is coming. Rook takes c7. F5, f6, not immediately because bishop e5 is coming, but knight c7 is coming. White is winning material. Probably without sufficient compensation. Although it's possible to to check this line more accurately, but look at d1 simply. Then it's bad. So knight c7 is strong. So Spassky took the pawn, but now again c4 is. Well, there is question if uh, I always analyzing uh, games uh, without computer. Um, ну, спочатку я відповім українською мовою, як зазвичай українцям я відповідаю рідною мовою. Ну, що я можу сказати? Ну, коли я на твічі, то я стараюся, ну, я не використовую двіжок взагалі, я намагаюся ось своєю головою зрозуміти, що відбувається. Може, тому роблю часом помилки, ну, навіть не може, а ну, не можу я все бачити, не можу я так безпомилково все бачити, хоча я стараюся. Ну, взагалі, ну, не люблю я використовувати движок. Скажу так чесно. Тому що... Ну, я хочу, щоб шахи були мені цікаві, розумієте? 
Що мені цікаво своєю головою зрозуміти, чому треба робити той чи інший хід, а не е, натиснути кнопку і дивитися, що там скаже там, Stockfish чи Komodo чи інша програма. Ну, я тут от, дивлюсь на позиції, я намагаюся зрозуміти, хто стоїть краще, чому, що загрожує. Такі от цікаві от речі. От мені от тут цікаво. Тобто. А коли от просто врубиш двіжок, ну, то якось воно не цікаво. А я не хочу втратити інтерес до шахів, ви розумієте? Щоб для мене це важливо. Rook F4 can be good, but now black on move. Okay, I will translate in English. It was a question if uh, why I'm, if I'm using engine during Twitch I am not using because uh, for me it's uh, much more interesting to try understand with my own head what is going on, so to understand what are threats, what... Uh, how to play and how to evaluate position. Uh, engine makes brain lazy. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe it's very individual, so it's 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 not so obvious uh, because sometimes engine can be really useful, but uh, it's a question how to utilize it important to utilize in correct way. Um, I'm not familiar how to utilize uh, engine in correct way, so I'm trying not to do it. Okay, sometimes if uh, I'm hurry, if I'm, uh, I'm lazy, okay, I can do it, but um, it doesn't bring me happiness, what can I say? Okay, so probably chess professional should not think about uh, happiness or so consider chess like work. Okay, maybe, but, but it's my choice. And now I see that probably Spassky just played very bad because he lost in uh, several moves. Okay, let's see. So he, he just took pawn and uh, after the obvious c4, wow, something terrible happened. So this, 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 knight e6. Okay, uh, white can take exchange immediately, but Viktor Lvovich played this, so black is totally losing. Uh, he resigned after several moves, but uh, okay, so move 25, so maybe he wasn't yet in time, t 26, sorry, after F takes E5. Maybe he wasn't yet in time trouble, so, and the uh, position doesn't look like uh, so terrible for black. For example, Queen C5 looks like logical move. If, or maybe even here queen c5, but I think uh, black can uh, play queen c5 because uh, they can take uh, white knight uh, whenever they want this. And, um, and this is the question, why black is so bad here? Because rook takes e5 is threat now. Knight c7 doesn't work because bishop takes f1. Queen c5 doesn't look like a very difficult move to find. Or here queen c5, but... Okay, maybe white is better. Oh, uh, surely, surely white is better, but uh, the question how much is better? Okay, for example, we can consider take, take, and c4, rook takes e5, c takes d5. So knight d6, rook takes c5. Of course, black has chances to draw because knight on d6 is strong, but uh, mm, pawn down, rook e7, maybe it's possible. 
if rook c8 c6 rook d8 if bishop h3 g6 and then king g7 okay black is suffering but still fighting and if i play this immediately so same line c4 okay probably it will be the same but rook takes Ah, now rook takes uh, knight c7 is coming, so anyway, uh, black should take on uh, on b5. So this, this, rook takes e5, c takes d5. Rook e1 is an unpleasant threat, uh, so this is more or less forced. And rook e7, not allow rook c7. And uh, still not easy to win for white. Maybe even rook f8 is possible. Try to exchange rook. Oh, knight on d6 very strong. My idea if... Uh, Ah, rook c7 now. Ah, rook c7 and important that white can take with bishop because if with king, rook f5 and rook f7. But uh, if uh, bishop... There is problem because black cannot defend uh, a7 pawn, for example. This is losing. Check and bishop c4 is coming. No, but okay, rook e7 is correct move, and now, okay, it's uh, still a lot fight. So if you compare this game, uh, where Spassky lost in several moves, uh, okay, here, it's very difficult for white to win in this position. Of course, white can play rook a1, bishop f1, so it's it's not easy draw <laughs> at all for black, but at least uh, it's fight. Okay, m maybe white has something else, but uh, I don't know what uh, what else white can demonstrate in this position. Oh, what about, however, this, this, and this? If, if idea, my idea is uh, knight c7 is threat, uh, after bishop takes b5, I can try to take here. So because of this, maybe bishop takes b5 was stronger and play now queen c5. Try to force uh, this line which I showed you, this queen takes c5 and c4. Tomorrow, okay, I am not promising yet. Uh, I will think maybe maybe after tomorrow. Of course, I will continue this interesting match. So anyway, probably the best what uh, White has is to take and c4. Uh, I don't know if uh, there are serious alternative for White. Rook takes e5 is threat, king h1 is too slow somehow, black will play rook d8 and consolidate position. So I think more or less forced line this this. Rook fd1 is possible to consider and rook takes d5, but this rook m game... Possible! Although... Rook a d8 also possible, however. Because rook d5, maybe this endgame is pretty unpleasant. Uh, for example, this. This, this, and rook a1. Ah, rook a1, c4 simply. No, oh, this is draw. I forgot that c4. Uh, rook d3 not possible because rook takes a7 and b6, but uh, rook d7 is uh, unpleasant because rook a6, uh, but c4 is simply draw. So I think the best for white, uh, uh, what about rook f1?
So I think uh, it's the best of, uh, of white is to play this, 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 but uh, knight d6, rook takes c5, rook e7, still. So white is pawn up, clearly better, but black has uh, quite reasonable uh, chances for draw because knight on b6 very solid and uh, black will try to play. G6, King G7, Rook B8 somewhere is possible. Try to attack the pawn. So Queen takes B5 was obvious mistake. So it's difficult to explain why Spassky did such a mistake because uh, it was obvious uh, that bad. G4, G4, where G4? Eight in G4. Ah, uh, uh, in French defense, G4 or what? Okay, so, so here. Black still fighting and has real chances for draw, in my opinion, after correct move queen c5, which wasn't difficult to find. Uh, 18 move, ah, here g4, here g4. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. After f5 g4, I understand your idea. So if uh, f takes g4, you want to play c4. And if bishop, so if I understand your idea correctly, so queen takes g4, and then if this bishop takes e4, and to win material. Okay, but after g4, probably black can do something else. Maybe queen f7 somehow. Of course, very dangerous position. For example, c4, bishop a6, takes, takes, and queen f3 probably. You are right, black has real problems. Yes, maybe g4 was even stronger than he takes f6. Oh, you are right. G4 is a good idea. Okay, any other wishes for today? Strong players, okay, I'm happy to see strong players in the chat. So I analyze it briefly. First three games of this match, after three games Korchno is leading, plus two. Okay, but probably you are in good shape and you can improve your rating. What else I can show? So 
So d6, f4, also bishop d2. So against Kalifman, I played bishop d2. Bishop d2 is another theoretical line. Knight d4, in which moment knight d4? Okay, bishop d2, and uh, there is theory a5, f4, knight c6, uh, castle, a4, knight a1. David Navarra played this line with, with uh, white, with idea to play knight c2. Or maybe without f4, I don't, maybe immediately. Is this? I don't remember exactly, frankly speaking, but I remember that David Navarre allowed a4 knight a1. But maybe not here. But here, knight g4 somewhere, which knight from this. Ah, but simply f3. If knight f2, bishop e3. Something like this is modern theory. So I remember that David Navarra played this line with castle, but uh, I don't remember only with f4 or without. Okay, so at the end of today, so I will show you this line. Three. Knight c6, c4. Knight c3 is another theoretical line. c4. Queen b6, knight c2, e6, knight c3, bishop e7. If g6, uh, main theory is knight c3, bishop g7, rook b1. Idea if knight g4, white has queen d2. It's very good position. So e6, knight c3, bishop e7. And now... What I want to explain that uh, if bishop e3, black can take on b2. Nothing wrong in this position for black. Because if knight a4, queen e5. There is no pawn on e4. Okay, e5, bishop b5 is another line. You are right. You mean here, yes. This is totally different line. Okay, but uh, for today, uh, knight c6, um, okay, knight c3 is also possible, this line. But I, I want to show you. Uh, no, black uh, is not losing the queen, because uh, if, queen, uh, if knight a4, queen e5, if queen d2, knight b4. And after knight takes before take on a1 is too risky, but black can just take here. Rook b1, queen a5, knight b5, check. And now king d8. Now if bishop takes, bishop d7 is possible. If uh, knight takes, knight d7 is good move for black. With idea to play knight c5. Okay, but this is uh, very special, Maruzzi, because uh, knight on c2 already, so it's not uh, standard Maruzzi. So, 
Сергей Каспаров, not Гарри Каспаров, Сергей Каспаров, played bishop d3 in this position, very tricky move. Usually uh, bishop is better on e2, but if uh, to play bishop e2, castle, bishop is uh, bishop e3, black can take again on b2, and uh, they are not losing the queen because um, if queen d2, knight b4. So bishop d3 is a very tricky move. And now, probably the best for black, just play knight e5. And after bishop e2, something like this, and then knight will go to d7, queen will go to c7. Black wants to build a hedge hawk system. But uh, if uh, castle, bishop e3. This is idea in action. And now, if queen c7, uh, just f4, not allow knight e5, and uh, white has good version of hedge hawk system. Okay, queen c7 is the best move. But queen takes b2 is losing move. Because, because what? If somebody sees why black is losing here. Oh, knight b5, queen e5. Knight b5 is not correct idea. Knight a4, queen e5. No. Third try. a3, b4. Uh, which moment a3, b4? Yeah, queen d2. Correct move. Knight b4. Please continue. Yes, rook b1. Aha, a3 before and move knight. Nine. Mm -hmm. Also possible. Only question how strong it is. Now, for example, I'm simply playing castle before a6. If white has anything special here, then black will beat hedge hawk. Queen c7, knight e5, uh, b6, something like this. Well, so it was correct, totally correct, I mean, bishop d3, knight e5, bishop e2, e6. Bishop e3, now queen takes b2, losing knight a4. But queen c7, of course, and pawn is attacked. And if b3, b5 is coming, so black has serious contraplay. So probably white can start with f4 immediately. Knight d7, now bishop e3. But anyway, queen c7. What is this? G4. Why not?
Okay, h6 probably. So if g5, my idea just take and play knight h7 and then pawn is attacked. Okay, white can defend pawn, but uh, knight f8 and knight g6. Okay, but white has initiative probably h4, knight g6, h5, knight e5, b3, something like this. But still, position is far from uh, totally clear. Bishop b7, long castle. But okay, I will finish this variation. So if castle, bishop e3, queen takes b2, terrible mistake. Queen c7 is correct. So queen d2, knight b4. Rook b1, knight takes c2, bishop takes c2, queen a3. Knight b5. This is the point. And now if queen a6, knight c7. My next tournament is Rael. And if queen takes a2, e5 wins the piece. Idea bishop takes h7. Yes, this is beautiful line. There is another very funny line I will show you. Uh, so... Queen d2 is strong and winning move. But there is also king d2, funny move. But not so strong like uh, uh, queen d2. But also possible. Rook b1 is threat. And now knight b4 doesn't work because rook b1, knight d3, king takes d3 and queen is trapped. But there is problem for white. Knight takes e4 check. If bishop takes bishop f6. If knight takes d5 is coming. But the most beautiful line, f takes e4. If bishop takes f bishop f6, white has problem. If knight a4, queen e5. Of course, this is not principal variation uh, because queen d2 is winning instead of king d2, but it's a beautiful one. So knight takes e4, f takes e4 is the best, bishop f6, now knight is attacked, if knight a4, queen e5, so e5, knight takes e5 is correct, knight a4 looks like finish, because queen is trapped, but Black is given second piece. Bishop takes c4, queen e5. Very strange position. White has two extra pieces. Black has uh, uh, four pawns against two pieces. But uh, I don't know how to evaluate this position. According to engine, it's approximately equal position. So engine gives uh, zero, zero, zero. Yes, it's all about square e5 for queen. Okay, so for today I think it's enough. I hope 
you are enjoy it. I need to relax and to prepare myself to to sleep. Goodbye. Good night. Thanks for your attention.